Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you what is ghosting or ringing in 3D printing. Watch the full video to fix ghosting permanently. A few days ago I was printing a lithophane where I found some print issue, especially on the wall. At first, I knew nothing about 3D printing ghosting so I decided to print that lithophane one more time. I thought there could be some rare printing issue and was expecting a high quality print lithophane. But guess what? The same problem occurred again and surprisingly both of my failed print had one common thing. Repetitive lines were appearing on the surface which ruined my print obviously. After some research, I got to know that this was ghosting, a common problem in 3D printing. So, in this video, I will discuss how I fixed the ghosting problem with some cool tips. From knowing what ghosting actually looks like eliminating the cause of ghosting, every detail will be covered in this tutorial. In this video I will cover the following things, how to identify ghosting problem, what is ghosting, how to fix it, and I will give a short conclusion to the key points. Before I start, please like and subscribe to this channel. That way, when I release more videos on 3D printing, you will get notified. Show quoted text 1 how to identify if your 3D printing problem is actually ghosting. This is the first thing that you must ask before going for the solution because, there could be any other issue with your 3D print. And, without knowing what the issue is, there is no point in looking for the solution. What is ghosting or ripples or ringing in 3D printing? When multiple ripples or lines are appearing on the surface which affects the outer look of the surface is mostly known as ringing. Not to confuse between various terms related to ghosting. You can see the ripples or lines on the surface ghosting is also known as ringing echoing ripples shadowing have a close look at the image where you can see the inconsistent ripples on the surface. Another confusing thing which must be cleared is the difference between ghosting and visible infill. People sometimes consider the visible infill as a ghosting problem in 3D printing. What's the difference then? Visible infill mainly occurs when the wall is quite thin and even under extrusion may also cause visible infill in 3D printing. I suggest you look for the pattern on the surface. In the case of ghosting, you will find some lines of ripples clearly visible from the outside. 2. What causes ghosting or ringing in 3D printing? Ringing or ghosting is mainly caused by the undesired movement of the build platform or print head or even the whole machine. The moment the 3D printer starts moving in an undesired form, vibration on the whole body induces. Therefore this vibration caused by the movement shows ripple or lines on the print surface. Just think like this, any type of movement causes vibration of the nozzle which leads to ripples or lines and lastly ghosting or ringing. There could be various reasons behind the vibration in the 3D printing which is quite common. Whenever you got those ugly looking ripples on your 3D printed surface, remember there is vibration coming from either print head or build plate or from both. 3. How to stop ghosting in 3D printing. Since you got to understand why ghosting occurs in 3D print, it will be easier for you to find the solutions as well. First of all, let me clarify that there is no single solution for eliminating ghosting from your 3D printing. In fact, you must follow few things to completely fix ghosting or ringing. Here I have given the tips which worked for me to prevent the ghosting from my 3D print. 1. Print speed Yes, it might not sound like a reliable solution but it works excellent. Initially, I tested my 3D print at 30 mm sec. After that I lowered the speed from 30 mm sec to 20 mm sec. Surprisingly it was giving a slightly better result than the previous one. Though it didn't work completely to fix the problem yet, it seems to improve my 3D printing. I would suggest you lower your print speed a little from your average speed. At least try to reduce the speed by 5 mm sec and observe how it works. Two. Bed level and rotation of print angle First bed level must be done before each print not just because of ghosting but also to improve the print quality. By leveling your bed accurately will help to fix this problem up to a certain degree. Along with the bed leveling, turning the object 90 degree while printing is also a great idea to test. This might also work for you like mine. But I would highly recommend you to follow every step. Mentioned in this video to completely remove the ghosting effect from your 3D printing. 3. Acceleration moving or jerking of the print head is one of the primary reasons behind the ringing effect. It is advisable to consider the acceleration value in your slicing software to help the print. High acceleration value could cause a problem. Hence try to reduce the acceleration value by at least 30%. 
This will help you to observe visible changes in your print. Along with acceleration value, you can also travel speed is also an important factor. Travel speed is the speed of the print head in no extrusion mode. Because of high speed of print head, vibration can induce which may cause ringing as well. As a result, try to reduce travel speed as well. You can use Cura to set all these values. 4. Tightening belts and screw after a decent amount of print, it is highly possible that the belts can become sloppy. Since belts are essential to moving thing print head from one place to another at a decent speed, it must be tightened. This will help to eliminate any issue induced by the sloppiness of belts. Actually tightening the belts and screws in my 3D printer has helped me a lot. Again, do not miss to tighten the screws attached to the build plate. It is advisable to tighten every single thing of your 3D printer that might cause unnecessary vibration. Conclusion After combining every step, I was able to print a lithophane without any visible ripples on the surface. In addition, it is also true that what worked for me, might not work for you but the steps are discussed in this video are the most basic things you can do to prevent ghosting. In case you have any different solution other than these, please comment below and let me know in our audience. If these tips discussed here worked for you, please do comment below. This will motivate me. If you've liked the video please share because sharing is caring. In case you want to learn more about 3D printing, you can visit cuberose.in. You will get many helpful resources on 3D printing. I will give the link to the description box. Show quoted text.